Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So in the continuation to our series on Hadoop tutorial, today we'll look at uh, the detailed internals of Hadoop MapReduce. If you remember in the previous video, we discussed about the MapReduce, that was the introductory uh, video. In this video, we'll check out the anatomy and the detailed phases in the Hadoop MapReduce. So guys, let's start. So guys, if you look at this picture, this details out all the different phases which are involved in the map reduce processing of data in the Hadoop world. So here you see uh, the data is uh, read from the HDFS and then the input files are created. These input files are read into the Hadoop supported input formats and then uh, based on these formats, the input splits are created these input splits uh, you can say uh, corresponds to the block in the hdfs world uh, a smaller amount of data which would be processed in a single uh, run of map reduce so this one flow this one flow entirely represent one entire map reduce phase so here mapping is happening along with the uh, additional and optional phases of combiner uh, then partitioning then happens uh, shuffling and sorting and then it goes to the reducer phase and finally the output file is produced and saved to the HDFS or any other local system as you have configured. But this is one uh, flow for one slice of data. So for different for next input slit, uh, this would be the cycle. Similarly, uh, if this is the nth input split uh, for a file say which is consisting of n input slits. So for one file, this is how a map reduce runs. Uh, so it has a input split that goes into the record reader. Then record reader creates uh, key value pairs. Those key value pairs go into the mapper. Uh, then mapper runs business logic on top of those key value pairs and intermediate key value pairs are produced, which will go through combiner and then through the partitioner. Then once there would be partitioned on the particular key, uh, the shuffling and sorting of those key value pairs uh, happens. And the specific co keys, or you can say uh, all the records for the same key will go to the same reducer. And finally, reducer will do some kind of aggregation or summation and the output file is produced. So this is a high level flow. Uh, now we'll look in detail what happens in each of these phases. So guys, let's see. So uh, as we discussed in the previous videos uh, video as well, MapReduce is the core component of Hadoop that uh, process the huge amount of data in parallel by dividing the work into the set of independent tasks. So if you see that one flow uh, where you have uh, uh, the input splits to record uh, reader, then mapping, then shuffling, then reducing. That is the one. Uh, uh, that is the one set of independent tasks, and similarly, the, those set of tasks are happening in parallel of, for, for the processing of one huge uh, data set. So, if you try to uh, see what exactly is the task in the map reduce world, it is an execution of mapper or a reducer on a slide of data along with the uh, internal phases. So this one set of execution of the mapper and reducer on a single input, input split is called a task. And these tasks happen in parallel. So in this video, we'll cover all the phases of map reduce job execution, such as uh, input files, how they are written, read from HDFS, input formats in the Hadoop, uh, how the input splits are created, then record reader, uh, mapper, combiner, partitioner, uh, shuffling and sorting, uh, then reducer, record rider, and finally how the output for output file is produced in the output format. So let's start. So this is our uh, uh, the execution flow which contains all the phases in the map reduce world. So it all starts that how input files are read from HDFS. So if you see input files, this is the data for a map reduce task and it is stored in the files which are typically stored in the HDFS, Hadoop distributed file system. 
the format of these files could be any of the available SDFS file formats. So it could be Parkey, Avro, uh, any of the uh, formats supported by HDFS. Uh, then comes the input formats. These are the uh, formats, how the data type uh, could be defined in the Hadoop MapReduce world. And uh, uh, these are the format which defined how the input file files would be split and read. Uh, input files responsibility is to create input splits and uh, one important uh, thing to notice here that the size of input split at this point in time we can say more or less equal to the size of a block in the HDFS. So that is a smaller piece on which uh, a one uh, task set of MapReduce will run and for all the blocks in a file there would be a parallel task set which will eventually produce the uh, output and complete the map reduce phase. Let's see what are input splits. So these are created by obviously by input format because input format is responsible how the file would be split and read. It logically represents the data which will be processed by an individual mapper. So that means there would be one map task for each split. Thus the number of map tasks will be equal to the number of input split. So as we know, the split size is equal to the block size, which is 128 M MB. And suppose if I have a data which is 256 MB, then there would be two blocks. That means there would be two splits. And thus, that means there would be two mappers for the processing of uh, this particular file in the Hadoop world. Uh, guys, so we have uh, seen that the input file is read from HDFS. Uh, according to the input format provided by the Hadoop world. And then uh, input format creates the input splits where the size of split is more or less equal to the blocks. And these blocks are then sent to the record reader. Let's see what record reader does. It actually communicates with the input split and converts the data into the key value pair. And these key value pairs uh, would go as an input to the mapper and by default it uses the text input format to convert data into key value pairs. Uh, record reader continuously com uh, communicates with the input split until the entire file is read or the entire input split is read and key value pairs are produced. Uh, it assigns a unique number to each line to represent uh, in the file to do the record identification. And uh, finally, uh, once these key value pairs are prepared, these are sent to the mapper. Uh, mapper is the place where the actual business logic or whatever is the uh, actual code uh, logic would be performed. It processes each input record, which is given by the record reader and applies the business logic on top of that and produce a new set of key value pairs. These are different from the input. Now the business logic is applied on them and the newer key value pairs are produced. Uh, the output of the mapper is also known as intermediate output. And uh, this goes to the uh, uh, on the local file system. It is the output is not stored in SDFS because then there would be overhead of a replication and as it is temporary data, we need not to create copies and replicas and all that. So we store it on the uh, local file system. And then uh, the output of map data goes to the combiner, which is an uh, optional phase. But we'll, as we are covering all the phases, so if combiner is configured for that map reduce job, it will go to the combiner. So input file is read according to the input format. Input format has produced the input splits. Uh, record reader continuously reads input splits and produce the key value pairs, which goes into the mapper. Mapper applies the business logic and produce the intermediate output, which goes on to the, which goes on to the local file system, right? And then these key value pairs are read by combiner from the local file system. Let's see what combiner does to it. Uh, the combiner is also known as mini reducer. So it is uh, performs the local aggregation on the mapper's output. 
so the idea here is uh, to use combiner is it will reduce uh, you know minimize the data transfer between the mapper and the reducer it is an optional phase and helps in terms of reducing the data transfer uh, once the combiner functionality is executed the output will go to the partitioner uh, partition only comes into the picture if you have if you are working with more than one reducer we can configure the number of reducers in your system and partition only comes into the picture if there are more than one reducer it is it makes sense because the idea of partitioner is to divide the key value pairs out of combiner or uh, mapper uh, so that uh, one particular key will go to this to to one reducer eventually but if say if there is only one reducer then everything needs to be going to the one reducer we don't need to do any kind of partitioning of uh, the combiner's output data so it will simply partition the data based on key or number of keys how you configure it and then uh, it will make sure that uh, the records with the same key will go to the same reducer so now uh, the partition has produced the key value pairs and they are partitioned now comes into the picture is shuffling and sh shuffling and short sorting so once partition has uh, partitioned the data based on the keys uh, uh, shuffling will happen so that all the records with the same key will go to the same reducer and shuffling is actually the physical movement of data which is done over the network so once all the mapper are finished and their output is shuffled on the reducer nodes then this intermediate output is merged and sorted which is then provided as input to the reduce phase so uh, the logical partitioning is already done by the partitioner and this information is taken by the uh, shuffling and sorting phase and then they physically move the data so that records with the same key would be sent to the same reducer and uh, this is sorted so that uh, it, the, the data movement will be faster as the data would be uh, sorted on based on the keys and then it is sent to the reducer a uh, reducer is the place uh, which takes this intermediate key value pairs produced by the mappers or combiner and then reduce the function and then runs a reducer function on each of these key value pairs to generate the output so here uh, reducer will do some kind of uh, you know uh, aggregation or summation based on the keys and uh, written as per the uh, program and then the output of reducer is uh, stored is is produced in the form of uh, supported output formats and it would be eventually stored on the hdfs or local system so now we have covered up the reducer so we are uh, we are tracking one task we have come this far to track one task one task means that the uh, running of this map and reduce phase for one slice of data which is this one input split for this particular file so the reducer has already uh, done the aggregation and then comes into the picture the record writer similarly we had record reader on the similar lines right these key value pairs uh, from the reducer to the output files and uh, output format will uh, be responsible for uh, writing the output files in the supported formats uh, by the hadoop hdfs world and this would mark the uh, finish of the map reduce uh, phase as the output files would be stored in the hdfs or local system as as per the configuration so if we have tracked it all the way from input files to input formats to input splits record reader mapper combiner then partitioner shorting shuffling then reducer and finally the file output file is created so this is how the this is all the phases in the map reduce phase so guys uh, in conclusion we can say the map reduce uh, in the hadoop world is a combination of all these different phases these are the detailed out phases uh, some of them are optional like combiner uh, apart from that all the phases would happen in the uh, map reduce except for the fact that we can also de define number of reducers at, as zero then in that case 
uh, Mapper will perform all the uh, all the uh, MapReduce jobs. We'll discuss those concepts in the further coming videos. But this is are uh, these are the different phases in the MapReduce job that input splits, input formats in the Hadoop, then input splits are created, then record reader reads input splits, gets key value pair, those key value pairs goes to Mapper, Mapper applies business logic and produces a uh, new set of key value pairs, then uh, combiner do some kind of local aggregation uh, to save the cost of uh, network overhead to send data to the reducer, Partitioner creates logical partitioning, shuffling and sorting phase uh, based on these partitioning sends the data, sorted data based on the keys to different reducers. Then uh, a reducer will do some kind of aggregation or combination or summation of data and eventually data would be right, output files would be right into the HDFS or local file system based on the output format. So guys, that's it in this detailed video about MapReduce.